Hello, hello, hello. Kanisha from Currency Point Budget. In this video, we will be doing cash envelopes, making them feel like that. I have been getting so many requests on how I make my envelopes, so let's get to it. I use a design space, as you see, Canva. You can go to any search engine that you prefer. Type in the word Canva, C A N V A. Canva is a design space where you can actually design anything that you would like, almost anything. Um, Canva has a paid version, which is called Canva Pro. I think it's $12.99 a month. And Canva also offers a free version. All you have to do is to sign up is to use your email address, create your account, and then you are ready to go. Okay, the first thing that we will do once we get in, is we will go over to create design. And for our, for our envelopes, we are going to go down to, I don't know if you guys can see this, but this says custom size here. We will click on that custom size. The first thing we will do is change pixel to inches. The width would be 6. The height is 7. Once this purple box light up, you are good to go. As this is loading, it will give us a blank canvas, and then we can begin our design. Okay, as I said, we have our canvas, which is a 6 by 7. Please forgive me for the little lag here. It is storming, so the internet is kind of running a bit slow. The first thing we are going to do is we are going to add a background to this canvas. We are going to enlarge this just a little. Okay, we'll leave it right here. Okay, the first thing we will do is go to background. These backgrounds that I am going to use are free with your Canva. Uh, Canva Pro, you will normally see this little crown here, and that will show you if it is only available for Canva Pro. So what I am going to use, what I normally do, is I'll type in the word bricks because we are doing envelopes for my to, for my savings challenge book. I actually have one on the actual design that we are doing now. I was preparing to get these designs and put them on my store, so why not do a tutorial? Okay, so all that we're going to do is, let's see what I'll kind of put together. Okay, here's a variety of bricks here. And I am going to use the blue bricks, and I will just click on it, right click, grab it, and drop it. Okay, so now that we have our background, I will go over to Elements. In Elements, I will scroll all the way down to I found my grid. We click on this grid here, and it will cover our canvas. So I will take this, and I will zoom over, pull it over, till I hit 3. 
because three will be half of my canvas if it is six going across. And I like to just even my my grid up. The next thing I would do is go down to my fashion girl. And we will take her. We will right click on our fashion girl and we will drag and drop her on the grid. And there she is. She's on the grid. On the canvas. Okay, now you notice that her elbows are cut off here. So what we are going to do, we have to resize her. So I'm just going to shrink her a little and just kind of widen it up making sure I'm not cutting off any parts of her. Okay, and then to make sure she is in the middle, you see that purple line that shows up on your screen. That is the middle of this canvas. So we want to make sure we don't have her close to that. The next thing I would do is I would go back up to Elements. And we will add a little bit larger. We will add in a box for our wording. Which we you will go to lines and shapes. You have a variety here as well. Click in your box here. And it will automatically place a box on your canvas. So you will just size your box to your liking. And we will place it up as is. So what you can do, you can move it around and you can actually see where your purple line is here. But we want to make sure that purple line is right here. That way, let's move this over just a little. Okay. This purple line right here shows that this box is centered with your fashion girl. So with this box here, I will turn white. And then as the box is still highlighted, I will hit this, which will duplicate that box. And with that box, I will change that color to a blue, giving a border effect to my box. I will cut this down just a little, not too much. And I will do the same with this side. I would right click and highlight them both. Then I will go to position, center it, and then you hit the middle. And we will click off of it. And as you see, it will give us a border, a white border. You don't have to have your border that big, but for tutorial purposes, we will leave it as Next thing I will do, I will go here to my text. Text. 
that's it. Next, I will do is go to my text. We're going to add, just click on the add a subtitle. It's just going to come as that, come up as this. So what you would do, you can move it. And we are going to write in place of that while it's highlighted. Type vacation here. Okay, and then you go here. You can choose the font. Canva offers a Canva offer a variety of fonts. And it will come in this drop down box. Never it's ready. I'm using two screens, guys. <laughs> and that's why I keep clicking on stuff, but it's not happening because I'm on the other screen. Okay. But let's get it together. Okay, we're gonna hit wonderful branding here. And it will actually change my font. And I am going to shrink the size. And I am going to adjust it adjust this to where I feel like it is the center. You can also adjust them like so, which sometimes it will put it up a little higher than you want. You can hit your down arrow, and it will move it to where you need it to be. So this is basically a complete envelope if you want to stop here. Could I add this? So you can stop here at this point and finish your envelope. You can add other things to your envelope as well. I have a pre-made form that I will add to this envelope, which is a vacation slip which comes out of my savings challenge book. And I just added as a part of some of my envelopes. And I just make that and size it as I please. And then the envelope is complete. We have completed basically an envelope in less than five minutes. In order to make several envelopes, you do not have to redesign each envelope. The good thing about Canva is it will allow you to duplicate what you already designed. So you will go here and you will hit duplicate page. And it will actually, on page two, you will have the same exact thing that you have on page one. To make changes, you can simply just click in here and let's write and we will make that a little smaller so it will fit in our box you have it. You can change it simple. Um, and then we can also change our curl. Let's use her. Okay. So now you see that her shoes are cut off and some of her hair. So what you are going to do is you just have to basically freestyle. And she is centered. I will not leave her as big. Um, let's go a little smaller. Center her here. And there you have it. You can remove this. 
you do not have to have that on there. You can actually duplicate this page as well. And we're on page three. And you can put another matching doll. And there you have it. We have made three envelopes. Your next step would be to put your title here, in which I will put cash envelope, and it will automatically save. The next step you do is go up to your share button here. You will right click on your share button. Then you have your download. It always comes up as a PNG that is suggested. You would just click that down box and you will go down to PDF print and you would select the page that you want to turn into the PDF or whatever you want to print. You can select all three. You can select two. Or you can select one. For the tutorial, we will select three. Once you hit done, you will hit download. And it will start downloading to your computer. While that is downloading, please hit that like or subscribe button. And also hit that notification bell. Leave us a comment on what you think about this tutorial. If there's anything else that you would like for me to do as far as designing anything, I will definitely try to get that content out for you guys. Um, and this next step as far as getting ready to print is very, very, very important. So please pay attention to what I am about to show you. This is almost finished downloading. We're just going to go with this one. So here's our cash envelope in a PDF. It is in a PDF, so therefore it is ready to print. I normally print on cardstock. Um, I just go to Walmart pick up some cardstock, and I use my printer to print. This is taking a little while. I'm not sure why that's going on. But please bear with me. Here we go. So we are going to go up top and we're going to hit our print icon. Here is where you really have to pay attention to um, what you're doing before you get ready to print. You will, of course, choose your printer that you want to print to. You can save it on a USB drive, a thumb drive and take it to your print shop, wherever, Office Depot, or if you have a printing company in your town, and they will be able to print these off for you as well if you prefer doing that. But once you get into this box here, and we are slowing down, it is storming outside, so please bear with me. Hopefully we can get through this video. Um, you are going to make sure it's on portrait. And then you're going to go down here to more settings. And under more settings, you have a bit to, print a, bit to printable area and an actual size. We are going to click that actual size. This is the bit to printable area. We do not want our envelope this large. So we're going to go to actual size and it will 
give you the actual size of the envelope, which is a six by seven inches. And then once this pops up, you will hit print, and it will actually print out to your printer as the size that you chose. As you guys can see, the paper size and the envelope size. So once you print this out, you want to cut this using your cutter or your scissors, whatever you have that is handy. And then in another video, we will go from this step. I hope you guys enjoyed this content. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Hit the notification bell and leave us a comment on what you think of this tutorial. See you guys later. Be blessed.